morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Sister Debbie. Hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. <laughs> I had a wonderful Thanksgiving. You know why? Because I was so grateful for seeing another Thanksgiving. And, you know, I hope that you were also grateful for seeing another Thanksgiving as well. Today, boys and girls, we're going to be talking about Manasseh asks God for forgiveness. That is our topic. Manasseh asks God for forgiveness. And our memory verse is taken from Colossians 4, verse 2. Colossians 4, verse 2. And King Manasseh was 12 years old when he became the king of Judah. 12 years old. Wow, he was pretty young. And he became the king of Judah. His father was um, King Hezekiah. In my previous video, I spoke about um, King Hezekiah. Um, he took sick and um, he asked God to heal him. And God healed him and gave, extended his life for 15 more years. But King Manasseh was not like his dad. He was very evil very evil. Um, he did not listen. He didn't worship God. He didn't love God. He did his own thing. You know, the older he became, the more evil he became. You know, he just did his own thing. He had his um, uh, people in his country worshiping idols, building idols. And we already know what God said. He is a true and living God. There shouldn't be no other, no idols, no Baal God. Remember, we spoke about Baal God, Baal is a false God. Now, he was doing all that. He had his people, you know, worshiping false God, building statues, had his people worshiping the sun, the stars, the moon. This is ridiculous. You're not supposed to do that, but he did it anyway. He was nothing like his dad. His dad worshiped the true and living God, but this evil king was doing his own thing and God was giving him warnings and God um sent um the prophet Isaiah to speak to him he did not listen he wanted to do his own thing he even killed his own two kids and he killed anyone that worshiped the true and living God that's how evil he was he was just going around killing everybody you know and didn't care didn't listen so God said you know what you're not listening I have something up for you. And what happens when God, when we don't listen, we run into bad things because God does not destroy a city without a, um, a warning. He does not allow anything sometimes to happen to us without a warning. He tells us, Sister Debbie, do not do that anymore because I'm allowed this to happen. Sister Debbie, do not say that. I'm allowed this to happen to you. Do not go there. I'm allowed this to happen. But this king, Manasseh, did not listen. He did not care. He did his own thing. He thought he was a big man on campus. He's like, what? I'm the king. I'm going to do whatever. I'm not going to worship the true and living God. And he got himself in trouble. So God allowed him to be captured and put into prison for many years. And while he was there, he thought about it. He was like, who's going to get me out of this? Is it my friends? Is it all my soldiers? Is it a surprise attack? is, you know, um, maybe escaping. None of that couldn't get him out of jail. So you know what he did? He said, I'm going to pray. I'm going to ask God for forgive me, for forgiveness, to forgive me of all the bad things that I did for killing my uh, sons, my two sons, for having um, uh, my people building idols and worshiping them when I told them not to, when I, when God told them not to do that, I'm going to ask him for forgiveness. So he used his heart and God looks at the heart because man look at the outside appearance and God look at the heart. God saw that he was sincere while he was praying and said, you know what, God, please forgive me. I've done wrong. I've done wrong by killing my sons, by killing people that worship you, by telling people to worship the stars, the moon, um, you know, and uh, doing all type of stuff and worshiping idols. When you said you should worship uh, me, the true and living God, the alpha, the omega, the beginning, the end, the tr truth, the life, the bread of life, the all in all to worship the kings of kings. King, but yet I have them worshiping idols. So please, God, forgive me. 
God heard his prayer and forgive him. And he was restored back to king. And when he went back, he destroyed all, tore down all the idols and statues that he had. And I just want to tell you guys that it doesn't matter what we do. You know, God is a God of a first chance, a second chance, and he will forgive us. Only thing we have to do is pray. We all have done bad stuff. We all have said stuff that we're not supposed to do. But God is a forgiving God. God all is all want us to make it into heaven, to see his face, to walk on the streets of glory. So only thing we have to do is just ask God to forgiveness and he will um, forgive us. What are some of the things that you have done that you're not supposed to, or even things that you have said that you're not supposed to, you know, do, or you, we, we need to ask God to forgiveness so he could forgive us. So let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Lord, we thank you, God, that we made it to see us another Thanksgiving. So many people weren't allowed, they, you know, to, to, to see Thanksgiving because they passed away. But Lord, you allow us to see such a wonderful day on Thursday. And God, for that, we give you the glory and we give you the praise. God, we ask you, oh God, that you forgive us, oh God, of the things that we are doing that we're not supposed to be doing and the things that we're 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 doing and we're we're we shouldn't be doing just forgive us for all our sins any things th sins that it's it, it's it's wrong oh god we know that sin is from the enemy sin is from the devil oh god and sometimes we're not strong enough oh god to make the right decision so god i pray oh god that you order our footsteps oh god and direct our paths and help us to do right and we ask these things in jesus wonderful and mighty name amen and amen god bless take care bye